Okay, let me give you your daily yap fest, but I want to talk today about awareness culture and like just learning to be honest because so many people I see nowadays are just so dishonest to themselves and also to other people. Like when you ask someone a question, like for example, like a validation question of like, oh, do I look good in this? You already know the answer to this. And this is just an example, but you can apply this concept to a lot of things where we're aware of a lot of things about ourselves, but then we try to I guess get an alternative opinion of it even though we already know the truth and we're just lying not only to ourselves but to other people now another thing is that i think people part of it is that people are not okay with being by themselves a lot of people are really reliant on distractions really reliant on other people they don't they cannot comprehend the idea of just learning to spend time by yourself and like one weird thing I, okay you might think it's weird i i mean i think okay maybe objectively it is weird but i used to just pick up the camera and generally i would just talk to myself like even if i allowed myself even just in silence but i dedicated that time every single day i remember every 10 minutes a day i would pick up the camera at the end of the day and i would just yap on about whatever the fuck i wanted to and that i don't know like it really soothed me it made me like happy with myself another thing is that and i also realized a lot of hard things about myself that i couldn't realize before and that kind of links with the fact that we just lie to ourselves a lot and we're in denial about the version that we have of ourselves in our head versus the version that actually exists now that's a whole different philosophical conversation about who we actually are and i'm i'm not a philosopher but i do want to say that i do think that people are not as evidently spending enough time with themselves and being content with themselves like i think people form a lot of their own identity based on like like the social interactions you have with other people or like the little distractions like the little hobbies but to just sit down with yourself and just think i think a lot of people like generally think and like okay i have a video about like thinking and people might think that it's like a basic of behavior that comes when you're born but in fact thinking can be really complex and for a lot of people people just don't think that deep enough about themselves and i think sitting down and filming videos of yourself talking like a lot of shit just comes out of the surface and then you start realizing a lot of things and then then it's like the question of like damn like am i really like this because you start asking yourself instead of instead of judging everyone else and how they impact your life you start judging yourself and how you impact your own life and yeah when you start talking by video it kind of like gives you a boost now another thing is that i started spending like i started dedicating specific time for myself to go out and doing activities by myself like whoever is waking up really early in the morning and going to the beach by myself whoever is going to the movies alone by myself whoever is going and um like i would even go to like the arcade by myself sometimes but okay and you might think it's sad and this is not out of loneliness it's out of choice and there's a really big difference between loneliness and choice where i just started be like i started forming my own identity i started finding my own my own self interesting started forming my own identity not based on every single distraction not based on because I also think that we distract ourselves so much nowadays with a lot of different shit. Whether it's um, social media and trying to post yourself, the like in or in order to get these compliments from strangers, which then I think you have to ask yourself, why do I want that? What is the like? It's hard, and I I deleted social media for a couple years because of this. Well, part of the reason is because why did I need it? if i just like what was my aim of social media was it just me posting pictures in order to gain that validation from someone else ask yourself the question why do you need this validation and like i said either what either verbalizing not even filming videos with yourself and just keeping it for yourself but just communicating with yourself a lot of this shit comes out a lot of these hard questions come out and i feel like that's a lot of the times what people are lacking nowadays and they become too reliant on other part of their identity another part of their like basically just distracting themselves with shit that like even materialistic shopping addictions alcohol addictions and i do think part of the reason 
of that and obviously it's not the whole reason and i'm generalizing like crazy right now but it's because people are not content with being by themselves and this is something i think is expected from us when we were young but never taught to us when we were young okay i'm editing the video right now and a, a really interesting thing came up which i didn't say in the video is that i once i started like really understanding myself i realized that i did not need a lot of things in fact especially in western civilized cultures everything is everywhere consumer wants everywhere materialistic positions everywhere and it i feel like personally on a human level like it really puts you off track really puts you at a disconnect with yourself where you don't even know what you want and yeah you just don't need that much to have to be happy but like the other point the side of this debate is that we're just enjoying a higher quality of life and that's something we should be grateful for obviously but at the same time there's nothing wrong with enjoying yourself and but it's just the problem comes once you start basing that whole thing those all those possessions all those other traits on your identity and you're just not content with just learning to enjoy your own company which is the point of the video and that's a skill i've personally found maybe for some people not but i've personally found that i when i was younger i really yeah i really didn't know myself like i didn't know how what kind of person i was i didn't know i i, I always and because i was not okay with spending time by myself i engaged in a lot of different kinds of distractions in order to separate myself kind of which sounds crazy but and it was done on even on a subconscious level like i didn't know i was doing that in the moment and then it kind of brings up the question of how many behaviors are you engaging in that you're telling yourself something but in reality that may not be the case so yeah i kind of want to end it on the notes enough yap yapping um but yeah what who's that i i don't know i forgot who the guy who, uh, who said know thyself yeah i don't know if, i'm trying to be like philosophical right now but like I generally though it's really important to understand yourself and what helped for me just saying was either ver uh, verbalizing picking up the camera i had debates with myself i started communicating with myself started being brutally honest also like brutally honest to myself like if i knew i was feeling something i was just like yeah i'm, I'm feeling it because of jealousy or like um like generally just being fucking honest to yourself because who else is going to be honest to yourself if not yourself and that one of my main points at the start of the video was that we constantly lie to other people and even when we know the truths and i don't know personally that makes me feel like shit about myself so i avoid that and that makes me respect myself more and i think self-respect is one of the biggest things you can have going for yourself so better to engage in behaviors personally for myself which makes me not lose self-respect for myself and lying to other people when everyone knows the truth even the person asking the question it does like i i think it's a really big band-aid and i think if you can't have proper conversations with people where you feel like you have to lie to them that's already a problem in itself so i'm gonna end it on this note